Greetings, people. It's Jared here. Wolfgang One back to do another Transformers review. So, following on from uh, Generations Warpath, I thought I'd review another Generations figure that I've had in my collection for about 10 to 12 years now, something stupid like that. And it's a figure that I've always kind of thought very, very highly of. And I guess that's because I don't fuck around with it that often. Um, but we're just going to crack on into this, ladies and gentlemen, and you can judge for yourselves. This is the review for Generations Drift. Okay, so here is Drift in his, uh, well, his drift car mode. I guess I'm not sure what kind of car this is. It might be a Mitsubishi. It might be someone else. Uh, <laughs> no fucking idea at all. Dave Mentz, Smuzno, tell me, what what is this meant to be? Because I've got no fucking clue at all. Um, this figure is about, I, th I think, maybe in the region of about 12 years old now. Uh, I think this came out around, around about 2010, Generations line. And... Um, it was white once upon a time. Um, this has mostly been sitting in my in my shelf, away from direct sunlight and away from smoke and pets and everything like that. And yet somehow the the, the plastic has still done this strange uh, strange thing where it got dirty. I've cleaned it up and everything like that, but it's it's still not um still not as good as it should be. If we come out to the back, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Around the back, especially around the exhaust section. Um, it's it's just a little bit yellowed and uh, but whatever, a little bit of paint there on the back there for the um, rear tail lights, uh, Japanese sort of uh, inscriptions and everything for the for the uh, painted on the doors, and some nice red accents on the on the hood of the car. Uh, this doesn't hold together. This this used to clip together like that, right? This uh, but now I take my thumbs away from it and look, it just wants to pop apart. Um, doesn't sit together as well as it used to, um, which is which is a bit weird considering I can't remember the last time I, fu I fucked around with this at all. Um, underside, you can see the robot's head and the arms and everything. There is a uh, weapon storage. In fact, I'm coming on to the weapons, let me come to that quickly. Uh, he comes with one one very very long sword. Now, originally, I, I I gave this to Generation One Bludgeon for quite a while until a better sword came along that I thought suited him perfectly. Um, so it's made out of a, a bendy type of plastic. So. Your stupid fucking children aren't likely to poke their eyes out with it because uh, they're stupid. Um, and it comes with two of these. Now, these these little hand sword, hand dagger things um, basically fold and they have uh, storage in, in vehicle and robot mode. The problem is these have been sitting in the holders for <laughs> a decade. And uh, as a result, now the, uh, the, they're also made out of bendy plastic and uh, rub rubbery type plastic and as a result they don't sit straight um, which is a bit of a shame I've got the same issue on uh, this one just here so you've got left and right one um, so that's a bit shit but there we are what can I do about it not a lot there's drift right um, so yeah Dr drift was uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool in the sense that he was like the first new character um, to be like, I think set or assumed to be in like the generation one universe or something like that he was the first new character that the the, the franchise had had in like sort of quite a while if you if you ignore that things like the unicorn trilogy and i tried to ignore the unicorn trilogy because <laughs> damn um there's a little bit of paint chipping just on the top of there as well and i didn't realize these were painted but you know whatever what do i know fuck all it seems um yes yeah, so the drift was the first new character that they'd done in quite a while and um as I recall, he was a bit of a big deal for that, actually. Um, people people went fucking mad for him. Um, rightly so. I mean, the, the, the car mode, you know, for a deluxe, the, the alt mode is actually quite big. And uh, the robot mode is, is mostly successful. I thought it was a lot cooler when I first got it than what I think now. And I'll come on for the reasons why when I do the transformation. Most for the most part, everything hits the mark. Everything looks pretty cool. There is just like one or two little things that bug the ever living, ever living fuck out of me because this is me and I can't take anything um, at face value, can I? I? I can't. I can't just be happy with anything. Um, even things that I thought were amazing, I look back at it and I go, "Nah, that's bollocks." Um, so yeah, his uh, plastic wheels—they roll very, very nicely, as you can see. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if the, if the plastic had stayed white, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? What am I supposed to do with that? Not, not a lot, really. Um, I've tried cleaning this up the best I can. But I cannot get that any cleaner than it is. Um, so there we are. And I love drift. I, 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 I do like this toy a lot. Um, 
bit, but because my classics uh, collection has swapped out and changed um, a few times over the course of the last decade or so, Drift doesn't really quite fit the aesthetic that my um, classics uh, lot have got now. So um, as much as I love him, he is um, he is going to a new home. He's he's going to a, a, a new uh, owner who is going to love him every bit as much as uh, as I have. Um, I would keep him. And I'll probably maybe I'll end up buying him again at some stage. Who knows? But I, I, at the moment, he doesn't fit in with the design aesthetic that my classic shelf has got. So um, he needs to go basically. Um, so yeah, that's 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 drift. That's his accessories. I did have his instruction book. It fuck knows where that's gone. I'm not losing any sleep over it. Let's take drift to robot mode now. To do that, we're going to start by uh, yeah, okay, pop in this hood section. If at all possible, because that's that's tad together obnoxiously. Uh, all right, I tell you what, let's let's not do let's not do that. Let's start by pulling the doors. Is it the doors? Oh, do you know what this 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 toy can suck a dick? Um, <laughs> right, okay, so that's what I wanted to do. Split that apart, and then bring these hood covers, bonnet covers over the wheel arches like that now sadly this does reveal the robot's head immediately okay i normally like to do the head reveal last if at all possible but it's not going to happen so get that on its double hinge out the fucking way as in move you fucker right there we are so that that reveals his a uh, very very stylized uh head and bring the wheel arches out like that. Bring the doors. Get my fucking ugly hands out of the way. Bring the doors away from everything else. Now, they're all tabbed in as well. Which makes things a little bit difficult. Or you just pull the fucker off. Now, I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, fucking brilliant. Yeah. Get back on the ball peg. Right. I wasn't planning for that, quite frankly. Um, but whatever. So you need to get the doors away from the body without popping them off like that. There we go. That, that's right. I know it doesn't look it, but that's progress, right? Um, then this entire back section needs to come out and split apart because obviously that's going to form the legs. Cunt. Uh, right, let's bring this up a little bit. Then we're going to fold out the legs, just like this, on both sides. And then these tabs down the bottom, we're going to sort of bring them back in like that. You see that? And then do something fucking awkward with it. I'm pretty sure that's not the way it's supposed to go. I'm almost positive. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does, because I've got it the wrong way around. Ha <laughs> ha, wanker. Right. So that, right there, is the legs. Then, these sections just at the top. Let's try and show what I'm doing. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right. These these sections here on the doors, these, this is pretty cool. This is something I do like. The, uh, the window. Fold that round and collapse it in. Just like that, and then get them out to the back. Then these sections, rotate them back. Bring down this section just here. And then position, okay, on both sides. And then this section, what would have been the windshield of the car, bring that up and lock it into place. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, for all its fucking awkwardness, is drift. Now, <laughs> yay, we got to that stage. Right, so, he's a cool bot, right? That I will say, he is a cool bot. The problem, the problem I have with him is clearance issues. Now, anyone who's got one of these will know what I'm talking about. These sections at the back, right, these, these wing skirt things 
are very stylized. They look very, very nice and everything like that. But trying to get him to do anything is a bit tricky because these things keep getting in the way. Okay. Now, they do have a second purpose. So let's get his arm out of the way. You can hold his little daggers if you want. Urgh, dagger, I'm going to stab you. Right. But if you pull this back out the window, you can slot these. I'm pretty sure I've just done that the wrong way around because, of course. Ah, right. Focus, you fuck. Focus, you fuck. Right. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go in like that. And then you fold the handle over like this and then close that back up. So that's that's his handheld uh, daggery, stabbery weapon storage thingy. Again, very, very cool move. They didn't have to include that at all. Uh, see if I can get this one in as well. This, see what I'm, you can see what I'm talking about here. The clearance issue thing is a real bastard. Um, I personally think limits posability. Um, he's got an amazing head sculpt. I'm, I'm just, oh, oh, fuck me. I didn't realize that. And, uh. A bit of sexy light pipe in there as well. Has he got sexy light pipe in? Or am I making that up? No, I, I, well, he has, but it's a tiny, tiny little thing in the top of his head, which gives him these lovely, the lovely blue eye effect. Bring that forward. Bring that forward again. Focus, you bastard. There we are. Look at that head sculpt. That is. Great. It would have been nice, maybe, uh, maybe not a white chin or something like that. I don't know because I kind of feel like part of his face gets lost. Either that, or they haven't painted enough of it. Uh, but yeah, that that there is is a decent a decent sculpt. Now, obviously, drift is supposed to be like a a samurai warrior thing. Now, the last time, to my mind, with the ex oh, crying out loud, with the exception of um, animated prowl which I don't think was quite Samurai. And the last Samurai bot that I could think of was Generation 1 Bludgeon. <laughs> and, and you know my thoughts on that little piece of shit. So uh, he's got a sword, as I said. He can hold the sword very, very nicely. I'm not going to bother putting it in his hand. Or oh, actually, I will. There we are. He's got a fantastic sword. He's got a very, very stylized elegance about him. Um, that is something I cannot deny, right? However, he does suffer from these... These hip skirt things. Now, I know, as I said, it's supposed to represent the samurai's armour and everything like that. And he does have articulation. The problem is, he's trying to get this fucker to, to do anything. Getting caught up on himself and sort of... Yes, the legs can do a bit of whatever. But I think he's a little bit... Uh, a little bit hampered, actually, by by that, that clearance issue, which is a is a bastard when you're trying to transform it, and it's a bastard when you're yeah, trying to get it back into car mode or trying to get it uh, into the bot mode and things like that. These things, these hip skirt things, side skirts were always the bloody issue for me. They look amazing, they do, and they do, they give it that real sort of samurai aesthetic thing, but they are, quite frankly, a cunt to, to pray around with. Um, and for that, that, de that detracts from the overall figure for me. Um, because it shouldn't be that much of a bastard. It, if they could have, like, if they if they had been on a um, uh, a swivel or a hinge or something like that, they could have brought them back a little bit more to the back, and then sort of collapsed them together or something. I don't know, so for like a tail fin or something. Um, but the other cool thing is he has weapon storage here as well. So on his back, there's this groove section just here, which will hold his sword very very nicely. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's right there. Is uh, is drift. I like him. I really, really do. Well, I I got this guy. I think I got this guy for ten pound originally, um, out of a comic book shop or Forbidden Planet or something. Like that. I got I got this guy for ten pound. Um, totally worth the money. He was he's absolute amazing. He's a great toy, a great figure, very very stylish. Um, lots of sculpted detail in there. You're not really seeing it because of the 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 color, the the strange grey, but not quite grey, but not quite black color. On his arms and everything like that um but you can see like all the machinery um if i if i bring this forward a little bit you can see like the sort of machinery uh sculpting detail in behind his chest 
he's got a lot going for him. He, he's very, as I keep saying, he's stylized. He's wonderful to look at. Um, he's got a little bit of weight to him, but not too much, but that's, that's fine. Articulation in the places you'd expect to find it for a toy that's about 12 years old. But those hip skirts are a bastard. Um, and as a result, limits the, the fun that I have had with this figure over the years. Hence why he sat at the back of the uh, classic shelf, mostly, next to Vector Prime, doing literally less than fuck all. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my review for um, Generations Drift. I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is Joe Gambay, also known as Wolfgang1, saying I'll be back next week with more reviewing goodness, more fun and japes in my own peculiar little way. I'm going to get this guy packaged up for... Um, for the, for the for the next owner um who's going to be taking delivery of him i think sometime in the new year so um yeah that's generation two if you haven't got one and this this review hasn't detracted from your opinion of getting one and you want one then go out and get it if this review has made you go yeah i'll probably leave it well enough alone or my particular reviewing style has gone do you know what no then uh then follow your instincts on that ladies and gentlemen um yeah that's uh that's Generations Drift. Thank you for watching this. I'll be back next week. Until then, take care.